everyone, we're going to evaluate the limit uh, given here for our function. Uh, we're going to use the table and the Maclaurin series for uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x and also this e to the power of negative 4x. We don't have 1 divided by um, 1 minus x squared. But I do notice if I have um, 1 divided by 1 minus x, I know this equals um, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the power of n. So I do notice that um, 1 divided by 1 minus x squared is just the derivative of this. So if I differentiate both sides of this, I'm going to get 1 divided by 1 minus x squared here. And on uh, my right hand side, I'm going to get n times x to the power of n minus 1. So if I write out my Maclaurin series as 1 divided by 1 minus x equals what I have written here, 1 plus x plus x squared plus so on, then if I want to do 1 divided by 1 minus x squared, we just differentiate um, this series. And that's going to give you, uh, we, we lose 1 here. So that's going to be 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared. And the next one would be plus 4x squared and so on. All right. Now for us, we're going to have to multiply this also by x squared. Because we have x squared in the numerator. So x squared divided by 1 minus x squared is just going to be in just uh, to divide each piece by x squared. That's going to give you x squared plus 2x cubed plus 3x to the fourth plus 4x to the fifth. All right, now that you have that, we're also going to have to find the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So let's do that. We're going to get e to the power of x is 1 plus x plus uh, x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x uh, cubed divided by 3 factorial plus so on. So now we want e to the power of negative 4x. So you just substitute negative 4x in for your x. That's going to give you 1 minus 4x plus negative 4x squared divided by 2 plus, and that's 2 factorial, but still 2, negative 4x cubed divided by 3 factorial, which is 6, and so on. All right, now we're going to substitute everything we have. We already know what this is, and then we're going to write this out. So basically what we have is, and I'm going to, well, maybe I can start it here. Uh, we're going to have the limit. As x approaches um, 0, this should be an x, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, uh, the limit as x approaches uh, 0 of x squared. We already took care of this piece. x squared plus 2x cubed plus 3x to the fourth plus 4x to the fifth plus so on. Divide it by... Um, you have to copy this part down. This is going to be 4x minus 1 plus, and then copy this down. So this is going to be 1 minus 4x, and then I'm going to simplify this. So this is going to be plus 8x squared minus 64 divided by 6x cubed. All right, so basically I just made that a 6. That's a 64. And this was 16 divided by 2 there. All right. Now simplifying this, let's see what we can do. Um, the 4x's cancel. The 1's cancel out. Um, it looks like that's about it. So let's go ahead and uh, simplify this uh, and clean it up a little bit. So we're going to have the limit. Again, this should be an x. The limit as x approaches uh, 0 of x squared 
plus 2x cubed plus 3x to the fourth plus 4x to the fifth all divided by uh, 8x squared minus 32 I'm simplifying divided by 3x cubed plus dot 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 now to do the limit let's go ahead and divide um, each piece by x squared so we're just going to multiply the numerator by 1 divided by x squared and multiply the denominator by 1 um, divided by x squared. That's going to give me the limit as x approaches a 0 of 1 divided by 8. And this rest of the stuff is going to be plus 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus dot 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 and in the denominator minus 32 um, thirds x and what happens is if you apply the limit as um, is x equals uh, 0 as um, we get closer and closer to infinity so the limits going to go this is going to go to 0 all right so basically our limit equals 1 divided by 8 Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.